America has again helped its main adversary. It's known that history likes to repeat itself, both in good and, unfortunately, in bad. Almost 80 years ago, the Soviet Union, with the help of its spies, was able to steal from America very many secrets related to the creation of the atomic bomb. This helped the USSR to quickly develop its own weapons, saving a great deal of money in the process. In fact, the US helped its then main adversary to arm itself and subsidized its budget by many hundreds of millions of dollars. Now history has repeated itself. The Chinese, with the help of their spies, stole many secrets of the world's most advanced fighter jet, the F-22 Raptor, which helped them quickly create its analog. But will this help the Celestial Empire successfully confront America? Find out in our video. When America created the F-22 Raptor, it seemed like science fiction. No other country had anything close to such an airplane. Even in appearance, it was dramatically different from any fighter aircraft created before it. The Raptor seemed like an alien from another world, and fully justified its name. And even now, almost a quarter of a century after its introduction into service, many of the aircraft's characteristics remain unsurpassed. In our fast-paced age, when many achievements become obsolete after barely being born, this is an outstanding result. It's not surprising that the main adversaries of the US, Russia, and China tried to get the secrets of the Raptor, rightly believing that developing everything themselves would be both very long and very expensive. Unfortunately, China's theft of F-22 secrets succeeded. In March 2016, a 51-year-old Chinese national named Su Bin pleaded guilty to charges related to what the U.S. Department of Justice called a multi-year conspiracy orchestrated by senior Chinese military officials to steal U.S. military secrets, primarily the designs for advanced stealth fighters such as the F-22 and F-35. Su Bin, who worked in Canada under the name Stephen Su, was the owner of a small company called Load Tech, which specialized in making cable harnesses for aircraft. Despite having minimal clearance to any U.S. military secrets, the Chinese man, through his business connections and taking advantage of the carelessness of his American partners, was able to gain access to an internal information network used by various U.S. and Canadian defense contractors. After that, stealing secrets was a matter of technique. With the help of two professional hackers hired by China, Su Bin was able to obtain more than 630,000 files from Boeing about the C-17 heavy cargo aircraft, as well as tens of thousands of files from Lockheed Martin contractors on the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II programs. In one 2011 email included as evidence of the Chinese man's guilt, Su boasted to his Chinese customers that the information he stole from the F-22 and F-35 programs will allow us to quickly catch up to the U.S. level. Also in the letter is the phrase, it's easy to stand on the shoulders of a giant. Here the Chinese are unfortunately right. Su was originally facing 30 years in prison for his crimes, but he quickly accepted a plea agreement, agreeing to fully cooperate with U.S. authorities in exchange for a much shorter sentence of 46 months. Recall that the Rosenbergs, American citizens, were executed in the electric chair in 1953 for spying for the USSR. So how much did the information stolen from the US influence the design of the first Chinese stealth fighter, Chengdu J-20 Mighty Dragon, which the Chinese have already managed to build more than 200 units? Recall that the US has produced 195 Raptors, but five of them have already been lost in flying accidents. Externally, the Chinese Dragon is very similar to the American Raptor. In principle, there's one significant visual difference. The Chinese airplane has two elements of horizontal plumage in front, so the aerodynamic scheme duck is used. It's used to improve the longitudinal stability of the aircraft and increase maneuverability. It's no secret that many modern combat aircraft and fifth-generation airplanes are all aerodynamically unstable machines. This is done to increase their maneuverability at supersonic speeds. So a lot of control is taken over by the onboard computer. Without it, such an airplane would corkscrew. Obviously, the Chinese were unable to provide the necessary stability and maneuverability of the J-20 with their electronics and other systems, so they had to resort to the front plumage. So in this case, it's a clear sign that the Chinese aircraft loses out to the Raptor in maneuverability. 
I don't need to tell you about how important maneuverability is for a fighter jet to quickly get to the right angle of attack and dodge missiles from enemy aircraft. The similarity between the Americans and the Chinese is especially striking when you look at their noses. Of course, the J-20 is not a direct copy of the F-22. Still, any design reflects the technological capabilities of the manufacturer. In essence, a modern airplane is not one thing, but a broad set of components and design features linked together through functional form. Like a child who may bear only a slight visual resemblance to its parents, but genetically their resemblance is unmistakable. So too, the J-20 has an undeniable genetic resemblance to the F-22. So who is stronger, the F-22 Raptor or its Chinese clone? Of course, time is on the side of the Chinese. It entered service 17 years later than its counterpart. And in 17 years, a lot of technology is advanced. And yet, even with such a huge margin, not everything is so clear-cut. Let's take a look at what the American Raptor is superior to and what the Chinese Dragon is inferior to. In any airplane, one of the most important units, if not the most important, is the power plant, the heart of any machine. The F-22 has two Pratt & Whitney F-119 PW100 twin turbojet engines with an afterburner and thrust vector control in the vertical plane. They give a combined thrust of 15,876 kilograms or 35,000 pounds. This allows the Raptor to have a thrust to weight ratio at a normal takeoff weight of 1.15, reach a top speed of 2,410 kilometers an hour or 1,500 miles per hour, and importantly have a supersonic envelope free speed of 1,800 kilometers an hour or 1,120 miles per hour. And that's Mach 1.7. The Chinese have all these figures noticeably lower. It's pushed by two WS-10Cs, which have no controllable thrust vector, hence the need for a duck aerodynamic scheme. Their combined thrust is 14,480 kilograms or 31,922 pounds. The airplane accelerates to a top speed of 2,124 kilometers an hour or 1,320 miles per hour. That's exactly Mach 2. True, China is flight testing a WS-15 controlled thrust vectoring engine. Two of these engines will provide 18,456 kilograms or 40,688 pounds of thrust. It's regrettable to note that in many ways the WS-15 also came about thanks to espionage from the West. Matt McKinnis, senior fellow at the Institute for the Study of War, recalled the case of China's Yang Zhun Shu who in 2022 was found guilty of attempting to steal trade secrets from several U.S. aviation and aerospace companies, including stealing patented aircraft engine fan technology. McKinnis further stated the Chinese base of what the Russians gave them and what they were able to steal from us and from European manufacturers has led them to the point where the gap between us and Chinese jet engine technology is maybe only 10 to 15 years whereas they used to be 20 to 30 years behind us. America's arming its own enemies, just as it did 80 years ago. Now for the armament. The airplane that is the best fighter in the world is virtually useless if it cannot actually shoot the enemy. Modern fighters rely heavily on missiles, and more missiles obviously means more firepower. The F-22 also has an advantage here. It can accommodate six AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles in its weapon bay with a range of 180 kilometers and a speed of Mach 4, and two AIM-9X Sidewinder missiles with a range of 30 kilometers and a speed of Mach 2.5. So while the J-20 only has room for four PL-15 missiles, Chinese news site Sohu previously claimed the PL-15 is a wingless missile 5.7 meters or 18.7 feet long and claimed it has a range of 400 kilometers or 250 miles. But we know how Chinese media can exaggerate, so it's probably safe to say that the PL-15's performance is more modest. Moreover, the F-22 has a cannon, while the J-20 reportedly does not. You might think that a cannon on a modern fighter jet is an anachronism, but during the Vietnam War, for example, air battles often ended with air cannon fire. Even if you've seen the enemy fire all his missiles, knowing that he can still come close to hitting you will make you wary of him. Aircraft range is an important part of the strategy for operations in the Pacific theater. From this perspective, the Dragon dominates, capable of traveling more than 1,000 nautical miles on internal fuel, nearly double the F-22's 600 nautical mile range. This status quo may soon change, however, as Lockheed Martin is reportedly developing low-observable fuel tanks to fit on the F-22 
which could significantly increase its range. The most important characteristic of a stealth aircraft is its stealth from radar, which is characterized by the value of its effective dispersion area, abbreviated EDA. This is the area of some fictitious surface which, being placed at the location of the target, creates at the location of the radar station antenna the same power flux density as the real target. EPR data is highly classified, but many experts agree that for the Raptor this value is only 0.001 square meters. This is the best figure. For the J-20, of course, there's no EPR data. But again, according to most experts, this indicator in the Chinese is higher than that of the F-22, and significantly. This is also indicated by the fact given by the Indian Specialized Site Indian Defense Research Wing. It's reported that the radar of the Indian Su-30 MKI detected and tracked Chinese fifth-generation J-20 fighters flying over Tibet. To summarize, on paper, the J-20 has some advantages and the F-22 has others. In practice, however, as General Kenneth Wilsbach, head of the U.S. Air Force's Pacific Division, put it, I don't think the J-20 is the dominant aircraft at this point relative to what we have. While the Chinese aerospace industry has certainly made great strides in producing advanced aircraft, the U.S. still has an advantage. We would add that the advantage can only be objectively assessed in combat, but we very much hope that it will not come to that. Although objectively, seeing how tensions are rapidly increasing in the world, this is less and less believable. What do you think? Which airplane's stronger, the F-22 Raptor or the J-20 Mighty Dragon? Share your thoughts in the comments, and what do you think about the fact that very important military technical secrets are constantly stolen from the USA? We'd be grateful for the thumbs up on this video and a subscription to our channel. We have a lot more interesting content about modern weapons waiting for you. See you soon!